I mean, it's sad. It's really no. sad. An alarming night for neighbors living in this Katy neighborhood, just down the street from McDonald Junior High. Jim Shunnebogger says he heard a bunch of noise from the house behind his around 1130 last night when he saw all the teenagers partying. He decided to call police while he was on the phone with dispatch. That's when he says he heard gunshots. I noticed that there was a, a couple of kids uh, hovering over somebody laying in the yard. So I called them back again and said, look, you better send an ambulance. There's somebody down. Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez tweeted that there were as many as 200 people here last night for what was advertised on social media as a homecoming after party. The shooter injured three males whose ages are 17, 18, 18. They are all expected to survive. Mason Rowe, who lives across the street, says he came outside quick enough to see the chaos unfold. Seeing people busting through the fence, running and stuff, seeing a couple people laid out in the backyard. It's crazy stuff. Boladi Abui, who owns the house, says he rented it to someone who originally found him on Airbnb before the listing was taken down. He came back to the scene today, the aftermath of the party still visible. The backyard fence, damaged with holes and debris of all sorts, littered across the front and backyard. Abui says he had no idea there would be a party here and says he probably won't be renting out his house again. He's just glad no one was killed. That's it. Jesus Christ, I don't know what to do. I said, is there anybody, any dead person in the house? They said, no, nobody died. Then I said, glory be to God. HCSO is still looking for the suspect who they say fled from the scene. If you have any information, you're asked to contact the Harris County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. Reporting in Katy, Rosie Wynn, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.